you really let yourself go. It was just one bad game, man. Okay? Hana no Stark Haido is not going to come after you in your sleep. And hiding behind this freshman year high school attempt at growing a mustache isn't going to work either. Okay? You're going to get yourself together. You're going to focus. And we're going to find a good game for the Famicom. Yeah. But first, I got to get myself together. <laughs> It. Now that's how you game, Dave. Time to get back to work. You know, some people say high school is tough. Oh, I have so much homework to do. Oh, I hope my friends are in my classes this year. Who am I gonna sit with in the cafeteria at lunchtime? I wonder if that girl I like in my class is going to give me some mouth hugs. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough life. But you know who's really got it bad in high school? Kunio. An attendee of the Niketsu High School, Kunio-kun is the school's guardian often protecting it from rival high school sports teams. From hockey, to soccer, even dodgeball. Aside from being the leader of practically every sports team in Niketsu High School, Kunio-kun has also battled local gangs. Yes, he's had to fight street youths. Taking down gangs and bullies becomes a regular activity for him outside of his athletics. Now how does this kid have time to do his homework? and you thought your high school was hard. At one point, Kunio-kun even received an invitation to a fighting tournament to determine the toughest students in Japan. Which brings us to Niketsu Kakuto Densetsu. It's a mouthful. The Kunio-kun series is no stranger to the Famicom. There were tons of releases, and only a few made it outside of Japan, like Renegade and River City Ransom. Niketsu Kakuto Densetsu was released in Japan at the end of 1992 by Technos Japan, and it never left. Translated to Niketsu or Hot-Blooded Fighting Legend, this is a fighting game. And I'll say it right now, it is the best fighting game on the Famicom. You know what? I'll do you one better. It is the best fighting game on the Famicom, and it's better than any fighting game ever released on the NES. I know, that was a grand statement. But I stand by it. Alright? offers four player battles. You can go two on two in the story mode or battle with four players in the rumble mode. See if you look right here. Oh. Oh, that's right. We we can't read Japanese. Well, maybe some of you out there can, but you don't really need to know Japanese to play this game. But it does make it a more enjoyable experience because you can understand the story and get through some of the initial selection menus. And I, I believe me, I do not want you to miss any piece of this amazing game. So, I've got two ways to help you out. First option, if you want to get real fancy, there is an English translation patch available that is mostly complete. This allows you to enjoy the story mode significantly more because you can, you can actually read it. So, you can either emulate the game with a ROM... That was kind of weird. Uh, or, you can just use the Retron 5 and apply the patch to an actual cartridge of the game. It's really not too tricky. So just trust me, okay? <laughs> just trust me. Second option, I'll just give you the essential menu items for those of you that want to get straight to the fisticuffs. First, on the main menu, you can pick your mode, story or rumble. Story mode can be played by yourself choosing a computer partner, 
or you can have a friend slash loved one play with you. When starting a new game, you create a custom character because, of course, you were invited to the tournament as well. You can enter your name, birth date, and your blood type. I suppose they're using the whole blood type is connected to your personality theory. Using this information, the game will create your character with custom moves and stats. You'll also be given a password to save your character and progress. That is awesome. I love character creation anyway, and this is a game on the Famicom. Next, you'll need to choose your partner. There are four styles, fighter, martial artist, kung fu, and judo. And if you want to stick to the story, you can choose Kunio-kun as your partner. Before the brawling begins, you can choose a rule for the matches. Basically, this is another win condition for the battles, aside from pulverizing all of your opponents. You can win by performing 10 combos, using the stage hazards 10 times, hitting with 10 special attacks or throws, and avoiding damage for about 60 seconds. Or there's always rule number 5. There are no rules. After you've made your selections, the first battle begins. Your goal is to move up in the rankings and become the best fighter of all time. In, uh, in high school. In the free-for-all rumble mode, four players are pitted against each other. No teams this time around. You can battle three computer opponents or three other real-life humans. Don't seem to have any of those around right now, but that is still pretty darn groovy. I mean, this is, it's like some kind of vintage Smash Brothers up in here. Let's get to the action. This game controls like a sweet, buttery, smooth game. You're not stuck on a 2D plane. It's a free roaming battlefield with multiple levels, ramps, and even dangerous hazard zones. There's really no better way to spice up a high school fighting tournament than with some electric walls and landmines. The matches are fast paced and almost never drag on. You can maneuver around the stages quickly and the controls are super responsive. Clearly the moves must be pretty basic because you only got a couple buttons to pick from, right? right? Oh no, it's deep. A punches and B kicks, a and B together jumps, and you can press A or B to perform a jump attack while in the air. You can also run by double tapping left or right, which allows for running attacks. If you stun an enemy with several punches or kicks, you can perform power attacks or various grabs and throws. And if your opponent is knocked down, you can do elbow drops, stomps, pick them up and throw them, slam them, punch them while they're down. Whew! <laughs> There's a lot of moves. Oh, and you can block or guard by pressing A or B just before you're hit by an attack. <laughs> that is craziness. Well, there's more. Each character also has special attacks based on their creation setup. Some of these, like Mock Punch and Stone Guard, replace the normal version of those moves. Others, like the High Spin Kick, can be performed with special controller inputs. <sighs> okay, we're done. Nope! Last one, seriously. With your partner, you can pull off combo attacks. You can throw each other like homing missiles, or you can join hands and spin into an unblockable whirlwind of destruction with a little elemental flair. You just have to time your button press with the moving meter in the middle. <sighs> Each battle arena is unique and makes the fights feel different. Often I'll mix up my attack strategy depending on the layout of the stage. Now, defeating a character often causes them to turn into a delicious health replenishing treat. I just love eating the corpses of my defeated enemies. Especially when they turn into juicy hamburgers, or fresh sushi, or sometimes band-aids. Other items like boxing gloves may drop that increase your stats temporarily. And then, there's pills. Yes. Drugs may drop. Great for high schoolers. At least one of the pills revives your partner. 
Drugs do not bring your friends back to life. The graphics, if you haven't already noticed, are great too. Being such a late release Famicom game, everything is detailed and exciting. Also, as with most Kunio Kun games, hilarious and goofy. Especially the defeated faces on the character portraits. <laughs> oh god, oh god, those are great. And this game is super colorful. Almost too colorful. Gotta love those industrial factory zones with their purple and yellow color schemes. Yeah, this game's got the looks. And it's also got the sounds. You know what, I'm just... I'm just gonna let the music speak for itself. Or, or sing for itself, I guess. Now, if you can battle your way through the rankings and come out on top with at least 15 wins... Yeah, that's actually a ton of battles. You take on the final opponents. Sabertooth Tigers by Petal Sabertooth Tigers. That can talk. Well, it could be worse. They could be Cheetah Men. <sighs> These guys are tough with a capital M for muscles. They will attack mercilessly with their special partner attacks and killer techniques until you are down for the count. Luckily, you get more than one shot at taking them down. There are no hazards or platforms to use to your advantage. It's a straight up brawl to the finish. You need to use all of your techniques and fighting strategies to knock out those tigers. done it. You've proven that you were the strongest guys in high school. And the double tigers finally reveal that they were just wearing elaborate masks. I feel like those would be tough to fight in. This has become one of my favorite Famicom games. I just never stopped having fun while I played it, which was much needed after Hana no Star Kaido. As with the other games in the Kunio Kun series, this one is top notch. I highly recommend you add this game to your collection, along with a lot of the other Technos Japan games. Even Kunio Kun gives them his seal of approval. <laughs> 